guys. How's it going? You go for a walk? Huh? Come on. What do you think, Stella? What do you think, Stella, girl? Huh? Yeah. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on. Pu -pu 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 Puppies. Come on, Sway. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Hello, buddy. Pu -pu 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 Puppies. You're such a goofy girl. Yes, you are. Good girl. Good girl. Hello guys, welcome back to How I Did It. Today's task at hand is getting my pecan trees in out at the off-grid barn. Now, I purchased three different types. Two of them are specifically for Florida. And then the third one, which is called a Cape Fear, is also supposedly uh, able to grow well in Florida. Now, I purchased these six trees from a place called TaiTai.com or something like that it's a garden online gardening um, website I've purchased many of my trees and, and different plants from them over the years and I always have really great success and then the nice thing about it is you're not paying for a bunch of dirt to be delivered they actually just deliver or send their trees out with the uh, bare roots now these tap roots were probably two and a half, three feet long. And so I started to dig it and I thought, you know what? I need to get my bucket on my tractor. I need to get my good composting dirt in this tractor bucket, have everything set up. That way, once I get that hole dug, I can get that in there. I don't want these roots and whatnot to dry out. And as you saw, their packaging is pretty doggone awesome. They put newspaper around it and the little um, water absorbent pellets or whatever, gel tabs or whatever they're called. Yeah, so the trees were starting to actually um, have little tiny blooms on them, which is just fantastic, phenomenal. Like I said, I can't say enough for the Tai Tai Nursery. They, uh, they always have done me really well. No, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I just like their products and for the most part they get them out to you pretty quick and they communicate really well. So I had two piles of this dirt or two dump trucks of this dirt uh, sent to me. So the one we, uh, between myself and a kid that I had out here with his track loader, we smoothed that out over this area because this is going to eventually be the garden area. But the second load I had put right here in a pile. And um, looking at me here, um, yeah, that was total rookie driver. <laughs> and I thought about taking it out and I thought, heck no, you guys need to see, I am not a professional. This YouTube channel is called How I Did It. It's not how you should do it. Don't necessarily follow my lead. You think you're gonna have four puppies, you'll end up with nine puppies. You think you're getting a full scoop of dirt, you're running into it with the bottom of the bucket. <laughs> oh well, it worked out well. I ended up having to go back for a total of three buckets. Well, two and a half technically with this one here. But um, I pulled the sand out. That composting um, dirt has been sifted and whatnot. It's actually what they call here in Florida muck so it's very rich uh, a lot of nutrients for the uh, tap root and whatnot to get started and from everything that I've done uh, as far as research goes with these fighting pecan trees the uh, tap root and these little small tracer roots they take probably about six months to really get established so I took a little bit more care of getting these planted in the ground. And again, this first one that I'm putting in is a Cape Fear. 
And I staggered it. The Cape Fear, the Elliot, and the... I forget the name of the third one. So you need at least two different type of pecan trees to cross-pollinate each other. So I did the three. I have them on either side of the main driveway coming in. I just think, you know, five, ten years from now, that's just going to look absolutely gorgeous coming in underneath the canopy of pecan trees. Might be a little rough on your car. It's pecan season. <laughs> but I really do think the rest of the time it is, it is just going to be very eye appealing for sure so I started out using the bucket as my dirt resource for lack of better terminology and then I finished using this bucket as my water bucket man talk about easy oh Curtis Curtis was the other pecan so the Curtis and the Elliot Elliot are specifically uh, for the state of Florida and then the Cape Fear is in our um, zone, zone 9, zone 10. So they all three should do fairly well. Now I brought the pups out, took them on a walk, let them get accustomed to everything. Uh, a couple of their parents came by to see them and then other neighbors came by to play with them and see them. They had themselves a little bit of a nap and then I brought them out Seven. here. Seven. We're missing two. <laughs> yeah constantly counting I can count to nine <laughs> um, all right. but yeah. got them all out yeah. there and uh, they just were a hoot um, took me about a half an hour to dig on, all of the other hole. holes but this hole Come here <laughs> no exaggeration it, it probably took me the it, better guys. part of an hour between That's puppies falling in it, it, puppies wanting to help dig trying to be careful you didn't catch That's one of their true. toes because they have no sense of space That's a boy's way poor grace out. has been stepped on three Good times because she it. just walks right beside Get your it. heels and she puts Good her job. feet underneath your feet and you step down Good job, dude. one That's night awesome. i thought i had broke her leg get one out and another one fell right yeah, in it was fun it was a hoot and these guys i think they do so much better out there at the barn you know took me a couple hours to get comfortable with them being around we had a couple of the big buzzards kind of come swooping down at them stella chased them off after that she just barked and the dogs knew whatever she was saying or the puppies knew what she was saying and they would run for cover so you know it was it was just a wonderful day it was just neat it was watching them run around and it was just great it was something more than being in the city granted the pool decks cool and them learning to swim is cool and all but being out there Oh my goodness, go. it was just adorable it. watching all of them, including Stella. I mean, she just seemed so much happier, better bounce in her step, tail was wagging more. So yeah, it's definitely time to get back out here to the barn and get rid of this city life. Reminds me of an old TV series with Zsa Zsa Gabor, <laughs> Green Acres. <laughs> oh, sorry. A little bit punch drunk and too much sun. But six trees went in. Um, all of them had a nice little berm around it. Between the puppies running and playing and, and the ride going out and just all the company that they had, these guys were just whipped. It was absolutely hilarious. So I put them in the Jeep got everything else closed up just needed to water the trees in and then we could head back into Orlando using the bucket for my water source instead of trying to haul five gallon buckets out there or whatever just fill up the bucket yeah I lost a little bit of it but I was able to double water each tree and if you notice my fancy scooper that I had there <laughs> that's the puppy's water dish <laughs> Anyway, this really, it was pretty cool. Went in without a snap and I came back to my Jeep with Christian, crashed out my front seat, and this was my back seat. Alrighty then, I want to thank you all for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you next time on 
how I did it.